Hey race fans, welcome back for the Fanatec GT3 Challenge Fixed Series Week 6 at Spa. This week's kind of interesting because I actually, unlike most of my other weeks, I had uh, three races to really prepare for. Um, originally when I was planning for this, I thought it was a good thing that um, the PCA Sim Racing team race was at Spa this week, but it was in the RSR. And as I found, um, actually getting really familiar with the RSR on Spa to actually compete in the team event, threw me off a bit in prepping for the GT3 on this particular track, because um, they handle very differently and have some, some different subtleties that uh, actually made controlling this car at Spa a lot more difficult than I anticipated given my uh, my recent weeks and, and just really feeling at home in the car. So I think this is the first race um, in this series that I participated in where I, I did not feel comfortable. I really felt like I was wearing somebody else's feet a little bit. Um, and uh, it made the race and qualifying for it a little bit of a challenge, although um, I, I think that uh, I endeavored to do okay. Now, having said that, um, I actually I, I decided that I was only going to compete in one race this week, um, mostly because I'm just I'm tired again. <laughs> it's the second week in a row where I got to this race and I'm all like, oh God, I've got to do this race again. I hate feeling like that um, and prep for a race because it means that I'm not really going into it with a lot of excitement, a lot of eagerness which is a bad way to go into a race. Um, but uh, um, I, I really wanna get through this series and do well. Um, I think that I got into the top 20 last week um, through competition. So I'm on the first page of the results um, and just about every app I have that shows the series results. So that's actually, that's pretty cool. Um, and I think that, that will improve as I keep pressing on. Um, so let's get into the race. Let's stop talking and, and get to it. Again, if you have uh, um, not subscribed already and you want to see uh, or hear when these videos are released, please do subscribe. And if you like the content, please click on like. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the race. All right. Um, I'm uh, car number 16 in an 18 car grid. Um, qualified P8 with a 220 and some change. Um, not bad. Um, there's a whole clump of cars that are all in the 220, low 220 range. So, um, we'll see how this goes. Um, I expect this to be a bloodbath. Honestly, every time I race at Spa, it's just a disaster. Um, but let's, uh, let's keep our head down and see what we can do, eh? Strength of field in this one is a 1.4K. It's a dusk, so it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit out, um, which is nice in terms of grip. Once the tire temperature gets up, um, it'll stick pretty good. So we shall see. We're of course at Spa, um, which is a... Uh, the air temp is 68 Fahrenheit, P8. So it's a long track. Long we need to follow car states. number one in the right lane. Just gotta keep your head. Okay, Chip, get ready. Sorry, dude, look a bit wide there. If he wants it that bad, I'll let him have it.
It's all over the place. Still first lap, tires are cold, gotta remember that. Six has been to end Cup Paul Ferrer. Seventh position. The guy behind me must have had a sort of a time penalty because he got all sorts of wild trying to hold off the guys behind him as he served it. That was a chicken lift from out. Kept it out of the 1x zone though, so that's good. Some sorry messages back behind, from behind. I guess somebody got into somebody. Got a little loose in front of me there. Not good flat through the rouge. I always uh, wind up with the 1x if I do it. Almost always. The gap to Virgilio in front is now 1.1 seconds. At least in this car. The RSR is a little bit different. It's got more aero. This week with the PCA Sim Racing Team Race here at Spa and the RSR, 
I couldn't get a feel for this car. Because I drove so many laps in the RSR. It took me a while. Because they do handle differently. There's an incident in Lake Hume. It looks like it's Olsen. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Harris, he's gaining on you. The gap's now 0.7. Squeeze me, why don't you, bitch? Come on, Chip. Don't let him get away. What do they say? An open night racing lobby paybacks a bitch? Okay, Chip, this bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way past.
Wow. Really? I never touched you. I never got an X, man. Looks like P4 has been there and Lacoon. Gap to Harris ahead is now 1.2 seconds. Seven. drives away from me.
Sector one time's okay. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Should be a white flag this time by then. White flag, one more to go. Very upsetting to that car, or this car rather. You been motherfucker. Evidently somebody's unhappy. It's important to remember the sporting code rules is even if you are in the right, if you start using profanity or calling other drivers out over the radio, it is grounds for suspension or termination of your iRacing account if somebody reports you. It's funny. It's next turn. Looks like P3's gone off in La Source. No, dude. Seventh position. There's the checkered flag. Okay, so there were only two splits in that race, or yeah, in that race, um, and I was in the second of the two splits at the 1.3K, actually 1361 strength of field. I was the number 16 car, qualified um, P8, finished P7, so finished one up from where I started. Not great, but also not horrible. Managed to get a little bit of a bump in safety rating despite two incident points and got 32 high rating points, um, which is good for improvement, but not really stellar overall. Um, 56 championship points, um, so less than 60. I may actually um, may do another race just to see if I can get a little bit better um, in terms of championship points. Um, kind of 
wait and see. You've got two hours before the next race. They're every two hours. So um, I've still got today and tomorrow if I wanted to try to give it another go. But um, the strength of field, that's not a horrible finish. Um, I could probably do better. Um, I got squeezed um, in a couple of places. Um, I let uh, this hobby, Truilio, or Truilo, Tru Truilio, Javi, um, got, let him by early on in the race because that dude was nuts. He was all over the place. And actually it shows in his incident points. He had a total of eight incident points. He was pushing hard and driving all over the place, driving wild. He uh, almost looked like he was <laughs> using a console controller to drive the car. He was so wild. Um, and I think that that is the guy that uh, hit Mateus uh, Olsen, where Olsen kind of freaked out and started calling somebody names. I, I assume that it was the interaction between those two as Javi passed him. I'm not sure, but uh, I, I understand the sentiment and that's why I let him go early in the race. It just wasn't worth trying to defend against him because he was intent on getting by at any cost and that's, that's never good. Um, of course, Shay, um, he was faster than me and I, I'll give him that, but uh, he, he squeezed me almost completely off track um, to make his pass, which I thought was a little unjust. He, he was there, I was there, we needed to give each other a racing room, and he just did not uh, relent. Um, I'll watch the replay and see. Maybe he lost it a little bit mid-corner and he didn't have any choice. It was out of his control, but that seemed a little aggressive to me, like he was just using his elbows to push me out, um, and he was successful at doing so um, because I had to get out of the throttle to keep the car from spinning, so uh, that sucked. But all in all, um, I'll take what I got here and uh, we'll call it good. Um, let me do another race to see um, uh, if if there's more to it. But um, if this is it, um, that's not a bad bad for a week's uh, week's work. Thanks for joining. Remember to click uh, on like if you liked the video. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing so that when I release new videos, you get notified. Um, always good. And um, have a great uh, rest of your day, evening, or whatever. Thank you. Spaß machen Rennsport.